Hello guys, Jeffrey speaking here. So today I'm going to launch a new series for Tegila YouTube channel and it is called My YouTube Gear. And the reason why I do this series is because a lot of my friends ask me how do I shoot tech videos in Tegila YouTube channel? And I think that why not? I show you guys one by one how I shoot the videos. For example, the camera that I use, the tripod that I use, the lighting that I use, the microphone that I use, and etc. And hopefully these videos will help you in some way. So for today's episode, I'll be showing you guys the slider that I use in Tegila YouTube channel. And frankly speaking, I seldom use it, which I'll explain to you guys later in this video. Video. First of all, let's have a look on what is included in the packaging. The first one is the carrying bag for the slider. The second thing is the fit for the slider. Number three is some Allen keys. And number four is the slider itself. And the one I have here is 60 centimeters in length. But of course, you can also get it in 80 centimeters or 120 centimeters. There are two types of slider in the market right now. The first one is friction based and the second one is ball bearing type and this one is the second one. So this is the base plate. At the middle it has a 3 8 inch screw for your tripod head and on the right hand side it has a spirit level and on the left hand side it has a rotating knob so that you can lock or unlock your base plate. In order to lock you just have to turn it clockwise and if you want to unlock it you just have to turn it anti-clockwise and usually I use this to uh, create some drag when I'm doing my sliding works. There are two ways of using this slider. The first method is just putting it on a flat surface, for example your desk. Uh, but before that you have to install the feet on both ends of the slider and I found that it's a bit troublesome because I have to install and uninstall it whenever I want to do the setup. And I'm not really a fan of the height adjustment system on the feet because uh, it will take some time for me to do the adjustment. The second way of using the slider is by mounting it to a tripod or many tripods. As you can see at the middle, it has a quarter inch and three eight inch of screw holes. And at the sides, it also has a quarter inch and three eight inch of screw holes. If you want to do some vertical shots, you can also do that with this slider, but it's not advisable because it's not easy to do the sliding transition, especially when you have your DSLR mounted on top of the slider. The reason why I seldom use this slider is because it's very difficult for me to control the speed of the slider. And the second reason is when I slide from end to end, it tends to flex. But I believe that this can be solved by mounting two tripods at the end. So that's all for today's episode. And for the next episode, I would like to hear from you guys. What gears that you would like to see the most? Uh, maybe my microphone setup or my lighting setup. You can leave your comments down below. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Tegila's YouTube channel if you are new here. And I shall talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!